Hello guys, Ara here. Uh, welcome back to Connect uh, with Uganda. So today I have a very, very exciting uh, video for you guys. I am in the southwestern part of the country. Uh, this is my home village. And today we are going to show you how we grow tea and process tea because we survive on tea. It is our main economic activity. We are tea growers. <laughs> so today we are going to visit a tea farmer and then from there we shall visit the tea factory. I will show you each and everything. So I'm super excited. If you're new here, are you welcome? A like, a subscribe, and share, and enjoy the video. Guys, this is the tea plantation, and we are snooping to find people who are picking. They're down at the bottom. This is so huge, I just have to ask them like how big is it? Is it like three acres, four acres? Because it's really huge. So guys, we are at the tea plantation and they're picking the tea. I just like I've showed you. So I want to try it out. It looks like a fun activity to do. So let's see if I can pick some tea. <laughs> so I want to carry one of these. <laughs> uh, come on. This is how it's done. And of course you pick with two hands and you have to be like a really really quick if you're very slow then you'll be left behind okay so everyone has their own basket and everyone weighs their own tea that they have picked at the end of the day so you have to be really quick it's very competitive so meaning by the end of the day depending on how quick your hands are some are going to pick about 40 kilos, 70 kilos. The highest could probably pick like 100 kilos in a day. Yeah, so the more tea leaves you've picked, then the more money that you make. So we have three factories within the district. And later after here, we are going to visit one of the three factories and they'll show us the process right from these green leaves to how the tea is turned into tea leaves that you're going to make into like put in your, in your milk tea or put in your hot water, you know. And and of course uh, most of it is exported as well to I mean, do other things you know like maybe manufacture medicines so it's not only for drinking sure they drink some but I believe that the biggest portion is ex actually exported out of the country so uh, this is quite interesting guys I'm sure I'm doing a very terrible job I would probably make pick like 10 kilos for me for a whole day because I'm really slow so uh, guys comment in the comment section uh, let us know what you think a uh, like subscribe and share and yeah that's about it so let's go to the next uh, place right now guys how beautiful and green is my background just a look at it guys uh, this place is so green and uh, so beautiful <laughs> But it has been a drizzling, so the rain, oh my god, it's so muddy. We're just uh, taking a walk. But I'm just stunned by the beauty, and of course, oh, guys, that is windy right over there. If you ever want to see mountain gorillas, this is the place to come to. Yeah, so you see, there's a lot of evaporation going on. This is windy. You should visit a southwestern Uganda. You love it. They are making some materials mm. which is going to be put in the nursery. They are preparing, mm. they are to make some cuttings, mm. cuttings which will be taken in the bed, in the pots, in the nursery bed. I also want to show you the process of how they grow tea. You start by making a nursery bed and these are called pots and in each pot there is a loam soil. So later they'll put uh, this red soil on top of the loam soil and then after that they'll come and plant in uh, this we call it a cage uh, they first water and of course it's the soil is very very soft so they cut the older uh, tea leaves the one that's have overgrown able to get uh, this one to plant this is the initial step where everything starts and after doing this procedure they come and cover it with a thin paper uh, they will just uh, keep nurturing them over the time uh, sometimes they'll open these uh, 
sprayed some chemicals uh, with them and then cover them again for a period of maybe uh, one year until they are ready to be transferred to the main garden. Uh, these are some of the tea seedlings that are still in the nursery bed that are about to be transplanted into the main garden and of course you can tell uh, they have reduced the amount of branches up here so that they make them uh, get more used to the sun and of course uh, they water them each and every single day. So I've seen around this place, you it's very big. How many people are you employing? Uh, plus plakas. Yes, at the moment currently, uh, how many people are you employing? I'm employing like, today we, we have like uh, 90, 93 workers. 93 workers? Yes. On average daily, how many do you employ? I employ about 80, 80 to 100. 80 to 100 people every day. Uh, uh, wow, that is really good. Uh, is just to pluck with control plucking cycle mm -hmm. so we have to pluck from seven to ten days as a what as a must mm -hmm. so that is why you are seeing the here mm -hmm. good quality quality teas here we have some standards here mm -hmm. which lead is this state to be like this like rainforest alliance mm -hmm. to control the environment i think we have been seeing some swamps mm -hmm. to lead this, uh, the, the climate to be to be stable Yes, because I realized you have a very, very good climate. Mm. The soil also looks very, very so, good. Mm. Even the rain, it has been raining since morning. So plakas need to be motivated. Mm. Uh, so and, and they are the ones who normally make this estate to be like how we have seen it. Mm. Mm. They are the ones who do the job. Yeah. Okay, mm. so how big is this estate? It looks uh, very massive. How big is it? So this estate is uh, 60 hectares. Mm. Uh, 60 hectares. Mm. So you know that a hectare mm. has 2.5 acres. Wow. So a hectare is very big, so it is like almost 150 acres. Wow. Mm. I see very many lines. The estate is divided into very many lines mm -hmm. in part of squares. Yeah. What do these lines mean? They look very beautiful actually. So the importance of the So lines. those importance of the lines, mm. firstly, mm. it uh, eases mm. supervision of the what? Of the estate. Mm -hmm. Because supervisor can pass through while he is looking for what? For plakas. Mm. Each block mm belongs to the person. So every person is supposed to be plucking mm. his own block. We have permanent employees and casual employees. Okay. Permanent employees, they, we have, they have a lot of benefits. Mm. Eh? Mm. Like we give them housing. Mm. Oh, you also give them housing? Yes, housing allowance, 40,000 per month. Wow. Every month. Mm. Every employee, mm. we normally give, uh, if he has, the wife will give him free mm. medical care. The children below 18 years. Mm. So if he has like four, mm. we can manage that. You give them insurance? Yes. Mm. We give them leave. Mm -hmm. If he completes a year mm. working, mm. so we give him to go and rest for one month. Mm. One month. A month an annual leave. Mm. Another thing, mm. when he retires, mm. We give him what benefits, okay, wow. terminal benefits. Terminal benefits. Uh, another thing, NSSF, mm. a company co employ and uh, contributes yes. ten percent yes, yes. from his what his wage or salary. So th so they have a lot of benefits. Mm. I've been told it has been existing for the last uh, twenty years, which is crazy. You know, and that's a very a very long time. So twenty years, you know, of the same garden, they still are plucking it, are taking a very 
very good care of it and finally it has stopped raining oh my god it has been raining guys you know for sure when you come to uganda then you want to check out at this part of the country you would really really love it a very quiet a very green a fresh air no chaos and no nothing like you can tell the vibe is definitely different from when you are in the city guys we are heading back so next is the factory visit we finished a visiting the farmers <laughs> Some of them were happy, others were reluctant you not know, to be open to the camera. Oh my god. Vlog life, video making life, you know. Not easy. Nonetheless, it was a nice day. It's shining, it's bright. Again, I like, share and subscribe. I went and filmed how they process the tea but unfortunately I lost all my footage when I reached Kampala so look out for a part 2 of this video. I'll go back and refilm it. Thank you for watching.